Are there any issues with giving access to the views which have patch information, like DBA registry SQL patch, DBMS O patch? I think that's a typo. I think it's DBMS QO patch. We'll explore. Very simple, my verdict on this. This is a bad idea, a really bad idea. Let me show you the facilities we have, and then I'll say why you should not be giving them to anyone. One of the cool things that came in, oh, this is testing my memory. I think it might have been 12.2. We started ex ex uh, exposing what would typically be operating system level information inside the database. And a lot of this I'm sure was driven by the movement to cloud where obviously people don't get OS access. So we started introducing things where you could query the alert log from inside the database. You could query trace files inside the database and you can query information about the Oracle inventory and patch levels inside the database. One of the obvious ones is DBA registry SQL patch. It's got a lot of stuff in there, but if I query it, you can get an idea for how lazy I've been. So this is a version 21 database, and you can see that I've applied, when I first downloaded it, I think it was 21.3. I applied 21.7, 21.8. Then I took a year off, <laughs> did 21.12, 21.13. And just, I think, a few weeks ago, 21.16 came out, and so I've recently applied that. I would say this is fairly typical. Before you start shaming me for not applying every single RU, this is my home computer. Come on, I'm not running you know, mission critical stuff on here. Um, I would hope for your databases, we have those every three months RUs being applied. But as we can see, the cool thing is you can query it from inside the database. The other thing we have is we have a package called DBMS QO patch. Now to give you an idea for you know, perhaps its sensitivity, even though I'm logged on as a DBA here, I can't even describe it. I actually have to connect the SysDBA, then I can describe it, and we can sort of see the kind of stuff in there. There's get O patch count, get O patch data, et cetera, et cetera. Now I've set something running here. This gives you a clue that we're actually heading out to the outside world, the operating system level, and effectively running these equivalent commands of say O patch, in this case, O patch LS inventory. Come on, poor little computer. There, I'll come back to that. We'll go back to the slides and we'll pop back and see if it's there. This is why I think it's a really bad idea. Let's say Oracle publishes some critical security patch announcement saying, yep, we found this absolutely critical vulnerability. It's in all versions of version 21 of the database, but we'll be releasing a patch you know, ASAP. It'll be there in RU 21.17, and it addresses this critical vulnerability. Well, anyone that comes back along here, has it popped up yet, and says, ah, Yes, by querying this, because someone gave me access to it, I can see this database is at 21.16. I know this database hasn't been patched for that critical vulnerability. That's a disaster. We don't want to be doing that. So anything that reveals information about the patch level on your database, even you know, you could even argue even the version. You know, people often give access to VDL version and they do select banner full from VDL version, which doesn't just say it's 21 anymore, it says it's 21.16 or 19.26. Even things like that, you could probably make a case for as being probably not a good idea to let people view. Because the moment you give access, you know, you're giving clues to someone about where your patch level is at, you're implicitly giving them clues as to where your vulnerabilities might lie. Leave that stuff there just for SysDBA. Uh, it's made available to you as an administrator because often you don't get access to the operating system anymore. But yeah, don't give it out. I know sometimes people want to see it, but please don't give it out. It's just opening the door for security problems down the track.